Today we explore how Mel Robbins' 5 second rule boosts productivity and delve into how you can stop procrastination using it. If today's video is of value, please like the video to let me know you've enjoyed it, share it with friends and family to educate others and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of uploads as otherwise YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos. Last time we explored how Mel Robbins, author of the 5 second rule, used the rule herself to turn her life around, from being someone who was struggling in her personal circumstances to becoming one of the most inspiring speakers in the world today. She's helped millions with what is an extremely simple principle. So today, we explore how the 5 second rule works to boost productivity. Number 1. The 5 second rule pushes you to take action. The most obvious benefit of the 5 second rule is that it pushes you to take action. Many try to motivate themselves to take action and while motivation is great for the short term, in the long term it won't be sustainable and you're likely to hit burnout as it takes a lot of energy to keep motivation levels up. Don't forget, the brain isn't wired to take action to achieve something if you're in a state of comfort, as it wants to avoid pain and is ensuring survival. Now you could argue that the long term vision will pull you towards it and I totally agree. However, there are times when you need to push yourself to take little steps that add up to achieving that vision. And that's where the 5 second rule comes into play. Count down from 5 and launch into action to make sure your brain doesn't have time to stop you. Number 2. The 5 second rule is a form of metacognition. One of the reasons that the 5 second rule boosts productivity is it's a form of metacognition, or having the understanding and awareness of your own thought process. As mentioned in the first point, our brain is wired to do what's comfortable and ensure survival. Now in most cases when you're put in a situation to do something that's perceived to be difficult, your brain will automatically try to talk you out of it. With the 5 second rule being a form of metacognition, it overrides the process that the brain normally takes by pushing you to take action regardless. This is what your brain is designed to do, in terms of its neural pathways and the way that new neural pathways can develop. Every time you use the 5 second rule and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, activate your prefrontal cortex and shift your behavior, you are not only creating immediate behavior change, over the long run, thanks to behavioural flexibility, you're creating lasting behaviour change. The question is, how does it do this? You see, the process of counting down from 5 to 0 isn't just mimicking a rocket launch to launch yourself into action, but that process is essentially distracting the brain from essentially getting you to change your mind and not do what's hard. That's where the metacognition factors in, you understand the mind's natural process and do something to change the outcome. Number 3. The 5 second rule helps you take control of the prefrontal cortex. Now the first question many will be asking here is, what is the prefrontal cortex? It is actually really important, as it's the part of the brain that involves things like decision making, planning and working towards goals. All the things we talk about for achieving success on this channel. What you need to do is take control of the prefrontal cortex, and you do this by creating a feeling of control in your life. This is where the 5 second rule comes into play. When you count down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, what you are doing is taking a deliberate action. The countdown pushes you out of the autopilot the brain is geared in, and when you act, you're exercising control and you're turning on your prefrontal cortex. Taking actions will make you feel in control of your life and as a result your life will literally begin to change in every single way. By using the 5 second rule, you cultivate what researchers call an internal locus of control, which means that you believe you have control over your outcomes and future success. This is also why techniques such as journaling or writing to-do lists can be so powerful. Research shows us that those with an internal locus of control are happier, in better health, more likely to achieve at work, and have lower levels of anxiety and depression. And the more often you keep in that state, the easier it becomes to keep a feeling of sense of control over your life. Back in the day, researchers figured out that there are basically two kinds of people. People that believe that they're in control of their lives, and folks that believe that life is just happening to them and they're a victim of whatever might happen. Now, when you look at these two types of people, 
People that have an internal locus of control, a belief that they're in control of their lives, they're happier, they're more successful, more productive. Number four, the five second rule builds momentum. As mentioned, the five second rule helps us develop an internal locus of control. And this state is easier to maintain as you continually use the five second rule. Why is this though? To put it simply, this happens because you build momentum. As in physics, the required activation energy to build momentum is significantly higher than the required energy to maintain momentum. This principle works in all aspects of life. If you need to write, the act of beginning to write is usually harder than the act of continuing to write once you've begun. The five second rule gives you the initial push or the activation energy to start a task. If you then keep using the five second rule repeatedly, the momentum you started building for the first time round is significantly easier to keep going. Number five, momentum brings progress. Tony Robbins often speaks about how progress equals happiness. And this is true. Progress is critical to leading a productive and happy life. This principle is built on the progress principle. Research from Harvard Business School has demonstrated that making progress, even if small, is key to productivity and happiness. The five second rule helps you make forward progress every single time that you use it, which in turn leads to a better mood and improved productivity, making you more likely to keep using the rule which maintains the previous point, momentum. Number six, the five second rule develops a bias towards action. As your habits and using the five second rule becomes natural, you will act with something researchers call a bias towards action. Simply put, this means that you are more inclined to take action instead of hesitating and procrastinating. The more you exercise that bias towards action, the more you will improve your internal locus of control and be inclined to maintain momentum. This also encourages behavioral flexibility, which ties directly into the idea of bias towards action and locus of control. Research has shown that your brain never stops growing and you have the ability to learn new things throughout your entire lifetime. So as you use the five second rule again and again, you will develop a bias towards action, which will soon become a habit. As you create new habits, you'll become an entirely different person. Because as you learn through the course of life, you can actually develop new neural pathways which lead to lasting behavioral change. And from here, your default mode becomes action, not hesitation, all thanks to counting back from five. So use the five second rule today and just like Mel Robbins, take it five seconds at a time to change your life to be the one you want it to be. I'm actually more inspired by the hundreds of thousands of people that we've heard from from around the world, just like you and me, that are using this rule, not based on science, but using it in their lives and seeing remarkable results. The science explains it, but you're going to be absolutely amazed at what happens when you actually start to use this simple and powerful tool. You're not only going to blow up the system in your head, and the tricks that your brain uses to stop you right now, you're going to shake up your entire life. Have you tried the five second rule? And if so, how is it benefiting you? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like to let me know you've enjoyed it, share it with friends and family to educate others, and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of uploads, as otherwise YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos.